All right, how's it going, y'all? Today, I'm incredibly excited because this is something I've been meaning to do for a very long time, and I'm finally able to do it, and that is repair my network that has been in absolute shambles since we moved. And Unify sent me over a bunch of stuff. It is not sponsored by them or anything, but without it, this would absolutely not be possible, and it has been chaotic and just a pain to deal with. We've been here for almost like three months now, and I'm finally now getting around to being able to get everything set up and it's going to be awesome. This is going to be a complete home lab episode because we're going to be doing some stuff that would be absolutely impossible to do otherwise without VLANs. And so we're going to go over how I'm going to be resetting up my network. It's going to be completely different than how it was down in Huntsville. Now I'm now back up in Raleigh and we have a townhouse and not nearly as much flexibility for just punching holes in the walls and running cables. So we're going to have to deal with what we've got, but thankfully VLANs are here to save our day. Hello and welcome to the chaos of our cloak closet for the past three months. Katie and I moved in here about three months ago and because we're renting this place and don't own it, we've not been able to run any cables or anything like that. And so to get everything working, we've been forced to have this where I've got my Dream Machine Pro and a switch up here just to get everything to work. And it's a mess of cables. Okay, so this right here is our networking closet. And luckily the house is wired with ethernet, though unfortunately it is cat 5e, so I can't run 10 gig over it reliably. I've tried and it's just not been sufficient enough for me. A lot of times you can get 10 gig runs over cat 5e, but unfortunately this one is just not working out and it's having a lot of drops and fails. And so I have not been able to get that, but there are a few cables in here that do run ethernet to the rest of the house. The major two of them being one that leads to our bedroom and one that leads right into Katie's office, which is where the rack is located right now. And so our goal is to be able to put this unified Dream Machine Pro up in that rack, but also be able to use the rest of the wiring and even have Wi-Fi in here. But the problem with that is if we wanted to have the network based out of here, we would be unable to have the Dream Machine Pro upstairs because you need to be able to plug the WAN port of the Dream Machine Pro into your ISP's modem. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up VLANs to be able to essentially create a virtual cable that connects only the WAN port of the actual modem to the WAN port of the Dream Machine Pro, even though it's gonna be running over a cable that also is serving the rest of the house. All right, so right now my setup is pretty simple and pretty much what you would have to do because this Dream Machine just does not fit in here. I want to be able to use these nice wiring that is already existing in the house to run some of the cables. And so one really important thing is all of that wiring, all your local network has to be behind the router, which is right here. It needs to be plugged in the Dream Machine Pro's eight network ports right there. So that way the Dream Machine Pro is in charge of all those things. The problem is I want to get this Dream Machine Pro upstairs and I only have one cable that goes from in here to the rack. And so if I wanted to have a cable that ran from the WAN port of this actual modem directly into the Dream Machine, I would be using up my one cable and I could not use the rest of the cables of this network because they would only be on the WAN side of things. But because of a really cool property of VLANs, we're gonna be able to use this switch right here, which is just a $30 Flex Mini, you know if I send it over to me, that will be able to be configured with VLANs so that essentially we create a virtual network directly from the ISP's modem all the way upstairs into the rack. And so this right here is where the network currently is. So we essentially have this all in the closet right here. So everything right in this section is in this little network closet right over there. We essentially have the internet hooked up to our ISP modem, which then comes in and has to go to the WAN port of the Dream Machine. That is what is our router. So we need to be able to have the WAN port hooked up directly into the ISP's modem. And so that way we can get internet and then everything is then downstream of the Dream Machine. So that is how this all works. The problem is I want this Dream Machine to be up here where my rack is. So upstairs is where that rack is. And I want the Dream Machine to be up here. But the problem is there's a few network connections right in here that I need to be able to access. So these go to other wired connections throughout the house and I do need those to be up. So we are in a 
quite the predicament because if I put the Dream Machine Pro up in the rack over here, so if I took this Dream Machine and I put it in the rack right over here, well, then what would have to happen is we would have to plug the ISP directly into this network, which means we would have no connection down into this downstairs network because the only connection going upstairs to downstairs is taken up by that internet cable because the only place I can put the ISP modem is right in here because that's the only place there's a coax run to. So therein lies our problem. But VLANs are here to save us and this is one of the coolest things with VLANs that you can do. We're actually going to be able to do essentially this but also be able to have the connection used for the downstairs network. And this is actually using Unify's $30 five port switch, the Flex Mini, because it has the ability to set specific ports to VLANs. And so I'm gonna kind of talk through how this is gonna work because it's actually really cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rearrange this a little bit. All right, so this right here is actually what we're gonna be doing and I kind of wanna talk through it. So we're actually going to be using this Unify Flex Mini to actually kind of aggregate out traffic to make it look like we have two network connections right here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to set up this Flex Mini right here to have a VLAN for the ISP's input. And then the other thing that's gonna be hooked up to this VLAN is going to be the WAN in of the Dream Machine. And I'll show it all here because it's really cool. What we can do with a VLAN is we can tag traffic or even just isolate specific ports to say anything on this specific port is going to be on that VLAN. And so it's going to essentially be isolated as if the rest of the networks did not exist. And so that's going to be in two different places. So I'm just going to do a little bit of labeling here. I'm not as good as Tom is at these diagrams working on it. But what we're going to do here is we're going to just add in the fact that now this input is actually going to be on VLAN 100. So we'll just call it VLAN 100. And what that is going to do is we are going to say that the ISP's input, which is a WAN IP address, is actually going into our network through a switch on VLAN 100. And then this right here is the WAN port, and it is also going to be on VLAN 100. So what this means is the internet is gonna come in, then it's going to go into our ISP. And we are then going to take that ISP traffic, which is going to have a public IP address, a, a 104.129, whatever the public IP address is, is going to be transmitted essentially on VLAN 100. And the only other thing that is going to be on VLAN 100 is going to be the WAN port of the Dream Machine Pro upstairs. What this means is we are going to be able to essentially act as if there was a cable coming all the way down here and plugging directly into the Dream Machine Pro's input without having to actually run that cable. And that's the really cool thing about these systems. The one thing is, because the Dream Machine Pro is what actually sets up all of these devices, we're just going to need to do some configuration right here ahead of time to make sure it all works. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and open up our my Unify system over here. And so we're gonna just need to do some early legwork here to make sure it works because we wanna set it all up and then deploy it so it makes sure to work. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna edit this Flex Mini. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that this port number five right here, that's what we're gonna plug the internet into. We're gonna set it to only be on the internet VLAN. So right here, port number five, anything we plug in there will only be on the internet VLAN. Then our uplink to the rest of the network will be tagged with all traffic, which means that it will be able to pass through all the VLANs through that. So we essentially just say that port number five is on the internet VLAN. Now we're going to go into our aggregation and select a port on there that we're going to use as well for the exact same thing. So right now what I will choose is I will choose port number 25 to also be on internet VLAN only. All right, so what that's essentially done is it's essentially taken port number five on the Unify Flex Mini right here that's plugged into our ISP's modem. 
and put it on a network that is only also hooked up to port number 25 of this aggregation. And so what that's going to do is it's basically going to act as if we just had a switch that was hooked up to our ISP's modem and to our Dream Machine Pro. And that's the only two things that this switch is hooked up to. That's how VLANs work. Technically, we could also tag other traffic with it, but this would break that. So we're only going to allow traffic to those two things. And so what's going to happen is our Dream Machine is just going to grab the public IP address that our ISP's modem gives it. Then the rest is easy. The Dream Machine will just hook up to the aggregation and act as the router here. And that's all the legwork we had to do. Now, as long as we hook up everything to the proper ports, it is essentially going to act like this internet VLAN is just hooked up directly from our ISP's modem into our Dream Machine Pro. And the beauty of this is because we've got this Flex Mini, we can put Wi-Fi on on the rest of these devices. So everything else that's hooked up to this Flex Mini down here will still be able to work, but I'll have relocated my Dream Machine Pro all the way upstairs and everything will continue on working. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. And then after we're done with that, we can start finally deploying Wi-Fi that I've been really meaning to do. All right, and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of this stuff out here and we're gonna be able to transfer it on upstairs and undo all this mess of cables and finally have this door, the ability to close, which is gonna be absolutely huge. All right, so now I finally got the Dream Machine Pro out of there. And the only thing I need to leave hooked up is on port number five of that Unify Flex. It just needs to be plugged into my charter modem right here. And then the rest of the network on port number two will be transmitted up to the box. And so we're gonna go ahead and just put all that back right now. And finally, be able to close this door because it's got inbuilt power and the ethernet runs. And so we'll be able to just close this door off and never have to look at it again, assuming stuff does not fry. And so just like that, it has been closed for the first time in three months and we'll no longer have all that unnecessary stuff in the top of this closet right here. Last thing to do is gonna to be to just install that Dream Machine Pro upstairs on the port that I've already set up on that internet VLAN and we're gonna be able to go from there. All right, so now we're upstairs and we are back in the new rack room. This is in Katie's office. I don't think I've shown this yes, in a video, but we are in Katie's office and this is where the rack is right now. She is a lovely wife letting me put the entire rack in her office and it's not completely done yet. There is a cable that goes down from here, down the banister, down in my office. It's still a work in progress. Unfortunately, it's wired with Cat5e, so we're not really able to run 10 gig over that. I'm still working out some other things to try to see what I can do, but for now, unfortunately, this is what it is. And now, because this VLAN setup, we're just gonna be able to stick the Dream Machine Pro in here and have it be like, essentially we had that modem, the ISP's modem, just plugged in right here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get this thing screwed on in there, and then we're gonna hook up the VLANs and be able to go from there. So All right, so now it's screwed in and it was actually a lot easier than it normally would be. Luckily, I still had the uh, cage nuts on there from the last time I had this thing set up in Huntsville. So we can just go ahead and now plug it in and then we should be able to hook it up and the VLANs will just make it so like we don't have to do any configuration and it just picks up exactly how it was. All right, cool, so I've got it plugged in. I'm just gonna turn on number five, which is the power supply to the UDM Pro and it's gonna go ahead and start up. Now, the nice thing about this setup is within here, I've got all my VLANs as basically tagged with any. And so all I need to do is have the basically local area network side hooked up to the 10 gig LAN port on the UDM Pro. So I'm just gonna do that now. And then just plug in that one gig cable into any of the ports that I tag as that internet VLAN on this Enterprise XG switch. So now I'm just gonna take this super short copper DAT cable. It's 10 gig SFP plus and plug it in from port 11, which is 10 gig LAN, into port 28, whatever port I want to, on the actual USG aggregation switch. 
And what that is going to do is that is essentially going to give this entire stack now local area network. Without VLANs, this would be a massive network loop and chaotic and completely impossible. But because everything is actually sequestered out into separate VLANs, it just kind of works without any issues at all. It's a really nice setup and kind of underrated and you'd never think to do with this unless you really had to. And that's one of the really nice benefits of VLANs. All right, so now just waited and the UDM has finally booted on up, but I still have not gotten the WAN side of things done. That's just because I needed it to be on because it's also the controller for the network. So I needed that to be on so I could then go ahead and hook up and change the port to that internet VLAN. So what I'm gonna do now is on this switch right here, I'm gonna set port 24 to be on that internet VLAN only. And so that is basically going to set up that fake connection directly in between the UDM Pro and the actual modem from my ISP. So I'm just going to come in here, go into port 24, and just tag it to be on the internet VLAN. So now, I can go ahead and plug in port 24 into port nine on the Unify, which is the WAN port. And if I did everything correctly, we should all of a sudden just have internet. And so just like that, we now have internet. The icon saying no internet connection has gone away. The internet and Wi-Fi is working exactly how it was and no other configuration was required, which is really cool. This is one of those really cool things you can do with VLANs and honestly has made this setup way, way, way more useful than it would have been otherwise. I'm planning on doing a ton more videos for this stuff just because I'm finally getting this stuff set up and running and there's a lot more work to be done. If you notice this cable right here, really needs some work in here, but overall it's a great start and finally all that stuff is out of the closet and nicely in the rack, nice and clean. All right, well subscribe if you wanna see any more of these videos and if you wanna hire me for a project, there's a link for that in the description below. All right, have a good one. Bye.